What are reports in Salesforce? So reports in Salesforce is a list of records that meet a particular criteria. These records are displayed as a table that can be filtered or grouped based on any field. What is a report builder? Well, report builder is a tool that allows creating report types for objects that might not be directly associated with each other, but need to be shown in a single report format. What are the different kinds of reports available in Salesforce? So there are four types of report formats in Salesforce. Tabular reports, which are the most basic report format. They display the row of records in a table with the grand total. While this report format is easy to set up, they cannot be used to create groups of data or charts and also cannot be used in dashboards. Summary reports. These are the most commonly used type of reports and they allow grouping of rows of data, view subtotals and create charts. Next we have matrix reports. These reports summarize information in a grid format that is both on the row level as well as column level. These reports can also be used to generate dashboards and charts can be added to this type of reports. Join reports, the fourth one. These type of reports let you create different views of data from multiple report types. The data in join reports are organized in blocks and each block acts as a sub report. What is the maximum number of records that can be shown in reports? Well, the maximum number of records that can be shown on a report is 2000. To view more than 2000 records, the report needs to be exported. What are bucket fields in reports? Bucketing a field lets you quickly categorize report records without creating a formula or a custom field on the database. For example, we can create a bucket field named company size based on the number of employees field on the account object. Then create buckets that group records into large, medium or small. Now bucket fields can be used like any other field. We can use it to sort, filter and group our report. You can add up to 5 bucket fields per report and each with up to 20 buckets. Only numeric, picklist and text type fields can be used for bucketing. What are dashboards in Salesforce? So dashboards in Salesforce are a visual and graphical representation of reports which include representation of data like the most important numbers which could be the KPIs, your annual performances where the data is sourced via reports. It shows data from source reports as visual components and these components provide a snapshot of key metrics and performance of your overall business. Now what are the maximum number of components that can be added to a dashboard? Well, the maximum number of components that can be added to a dashboard are 20. Now what are dynamic dashboards? A dynamic dashboard enables multiple users to access a dashboard that was previously being accessed only by a single static user. This means that the dynamic dashboard can be used by a specific user alongside a logged in user and display data specific to both users accordingly. Can we schedule dash dynamic dashboards? Since dynamic dashboards are run based on the logged in user, these cannot be scheduled. What are the different components of a dashboard? Well, there are five key different components that are available on the dashboard. These are charts, table, gauge, metric, and visual force components.